Michael McIntyre jokes he will move to Dublin in first stage show since terrifying £15,000 Rolex moped mugging. Michael McIntyre joked this evening he would move to Dublin in his first stage show since his £15,000 Rolex moped mugging. The comedian was seen earlier with a new watch and bodyguard in London just days after the terrifying targeted robbery. The 42-year-old told the Dublin crowd this evening, it and hash x27 semicolon s great to be here, in fact I and hash x27 semicolon m moving here, f London. It has and hash x27 semicolon t been a great week. But I and hash x27 semicolon m ok. We and hash x27 semicolon re ok. The comic wasted no time using the frightening incident as material for his gig, but admitted he had thought he might not make this evening and hash x27 semicolon s show. He said, it was touch and go whether I came here. It is my favorite gig, it is my favorite arena. McIntyre confirmed his Rolex was taken. They say time is the healer. I have lost my watch. How is time going to heal? I have no idea what time it is. He told the audience, I could have done with you, 9000 Dubliners, and hash x27 semicolon we have got your back, coming out of the trees, who do you think you are question mark and hash x27, unfortunately I had to fend for myself and it did not go well. Think the film taken, with Liam Neeson. Earlier the popular comic was all smiles leaving his North London home to perform his first gig since he and his son were attacked by moped thugs on the school run three days ago. Morning, lads, he said to photographers waiting outside his home. Drama is all over and now it and hash x27 semicolon s back to work. Have a great day. As well as a shiny new timepiece. The former Briton and hash x27 semicolon s got talent judge also had a new minder to take him to the airport for his show at Dublin and hash x27 semicolon s3 arena tonight. Exclusive footage obtained by The Sun showed two black clad riders menacing the comedian moments after smashing the window of his £125,000 Range Rover on the school run. Clearly shaken, Michael was seen handing the watch to one thief who then rejoined his accomplice on the bike and raced off. A blade could be seen flashing briefly on the video which showed two thieves smashing the driver and hash x27 semicolon s side window of his Range Rover. Michael was collecting his children from school in the posh area of Hampstead, northwest London. The Defiant star yesterday said the show must go on and that he was feeling much better after the daylight attack. He told Mail Online. I and hash x27 semicolon m not sure if I and hash x27 semicolon m going to arrive there on time, but I and hash x27 semicolon m going to get a new watch later. Moped crimes are on the up with an average of over 50 being committed on a daily basis. Between January and September last year there were more than 19, 385 moped enabled crimes in the capital including thefts and robberies. London is proving to be a hotbed for the scooter attacks which have gone up 1,000% in three years across the country. The 19,000 attacks in 2017 have risen from just 1,053 in 2014, with the bikes themselves being stolen to use in the crimes. Police figures from 2017 showed that around 1,500 mopeds or bikes were stolen in London every month, up to 18,000 a year. There were 35 youth homicides, a rise of 35%, and an increase of 30% in muggings and 18% in knife crime. Muswell Hill has also become a hotspot for moped-enabled crime, with 159 such offenses in the past five years, including 87 last year. Motorcycles have been used in crimes such as phone snatches, gem store raids and acid attacks. The poor security of these vehicles, coupled with their ability to easily mount curbs, is thought to be behind the surge in robberies. Last month police revealed plans to change pursuit rules to help protect officers who go after suspects on bikes. He added, we and hash x27 semicolon re carrying on, but I could do with not driving this car at the minute. Anyway, it and hash x27 semicolon s all fixed. A witness, who did not want to be named said the confrontation described it as shocking.
The passerby added, they pulled up to his car as it was stopped by the side of the road near to some traffic lights, which were green. They smashed the window which clearly startled Michael as it would anyone, then he jumped out the passenger's side and they followed him round. When he was out of the car they were shouting at him and he flinched as if preparing for a hit, then cowered. Michael just stood there in shock and then comforted his son. It was terrifying to see, so I can't imagine how they must have felt.